we welcome you to EclipseSurveillance.com. Hello, I'm going to go over the web interface of the Maxplex series DVRs. I will log in here to one of our demo units. All right, so here we are presented with the live screen. Uh, you'll always see a one channel view when you first log in, but if you'd like to change it to a multi channel view, just select one of these options at the bottom. Here I'll select the 16 channel view so I can see all the cameras that I have connected. All right, so basically uh, I want to go back to a full screen view. I can just double click on one of the channels and here you are, a one screen view. By default, the DVR will put you on the substream mode, meaning you'll see the uh, lower step down resolution of the cameras. So with that, it'll just help you uh, save on your bandwidth. But if you do want to see the highest resolution, you can just right click on the uh, channel and select master stream. And then you'll be given the high resolution view. All right, so when you're in the live view, uh, other things you can do is um, you could change the color of the picture right here you can adjust your brightness your colors your tint and your contrast you can then save it or you can just go back to default put it to how it was originally you can also uh, control your PTZ here is the slider button for the speed of the PTZ movement and basically what you're looking at here is actually a PTZ so with the directional buttons you can move the PTZ around all right uh, if you'd like to do a zoom in just simply go here to these uh, magnifying glass button and hit the plus sign and that will allow you to zoom in and to zoom back I'll just simply go to the minus button All right. You also have your focus control if you want to manually focus your picture. And also you have your iris open and close options. That you can also manually close and open the iris. Also you have your preset uh, go to options. So basically uh, once you create your presets uh, you can select the individual preset and just hit the arrow button next to it and it'll take you to that preset as well as you also have a uh, cruise tour option that you can select and uh, ru start running a tour through the DVR alright so going over to the top of the interface you have different sections you can enter uh, so currently we're in live uh, we're gonna go over to search and this is the searching interface on the left side you have your different modes of searching time search and event search and in the middle uh, this is where you'll select the camera that you want to uh, show in your playback and the start time section in the middle is to select a specific date and time that you want to go straight to and then the play button is to initiate the uh, starting of the playback on the right hand side you have a calendar which makes it very easy for you to find the recording so when you see a number in red meaning that there is recording on that day so if you want to see let's say the second of june just select that day and just hit the search and right here in the data information will populate the times that have recording uh, so right here let's say I want to go to uh, midday on channel 1 I'll select channel 1 and I'll put here 12 o'clock and I'll hit play and right here you have it you have playback of channel 1 at uh, midday right here on the bottom you'll see that the time is uh, 12 o'clock you have your sliding bar here at the bottom and this sliding bar what it does is that within a 30 minute segment you can quickly 
uh, select the time and just go straight to it. At the bottom here you have a series of buttons which control your playback. You have your play button, your pause button, your fast rewind button, fast forward button, stop, next frame when you're in pause mode, uh, previous selection button, next selection button, full screen button, and your volume control button. When you're watching playback, you can listen to the mic that recorded uh, audio. On the right hand side, on the bottom, you have your snap picture. So you, if you like, you can take a picture of what you're looking at. Uh, you can also select different views of your playback. So if I want to do a four channel view of playback, I can simply select the quad view and select the cameras that I would like to see. So for example, I want to see these four channels on quad. I can select the four channel view, select the channels that I want to see, and then I'll hit play and it'll take me to that view. All right, so moving on, on to the uh, backup option. In the backup option, on the right hand side, you have your start time and end time. So basically what you'll do is put the times, the range of time that you're interested in. Then you'll hit search. You'll be presented with a list of recorded time. And basically uh, they'll be in order of channel. So you first have channel one. If you want to see the other pages, just go here to the arrow at the bottom, next page. And you can cycle through all the pages and just check mark the channel and the uh, segment of time that you like to extract. All right, and then with the browse button, you can select the location where you'll want to send the backup. And then you'll press the backup button to initiate the backup. Going over to config, this is uh, where you can control the menu options of the DVR. All right, so uh, you got your basic option here, your live option, recording option, schedule recording option, your alarm configuration. the network configuration depending on which maxplex series you have you can also control IP cameras you have a PTZ option as well the user authority option and the advanced option which you can use to import export uh, the menu of a DVR Going over the tools, uh, you have your alarm section where you can actually manually trigger the output of the alarm. You have your disk management option, which here you have the list of the hard drives connected. And also you have your firmware upgrade option. Over to info. and in info, this is more of information on the DVR. So you have your system information which shares you the firmware uh, version in the DVR. You got your event, event list option where you can uh, scroll through the events of motion and sensor. Just select the start and end time that you're interested in. Hit the magnifying glass to search and you'll have the list. Going over to log, this is more of the system log where you can find out if there was any, any system events that has happened in the past. Network is the network information of the DVR. And online user shows you who's logged in to the DVR. This concludes the overview of the MaxPlex series web interface. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find the latest information on our security products, demos, and our tutorials.